Sports! EA Sports! Do you think that Peyton Hillis is a good representative to be on the cover of Madden 12? Oh, absolutely. He's a great young man, and I, I think it's a great honor for him, and the fans voted. They, they're the ones that count. Here comes the rush. Rodgers with protection. Touchdown pass, Aaron Rodgers. He glides up the middle. Michael Vick laces in for the touchdown. That was a laser pass. Peyton Hillis continues to make it. There are very few quarterbacks who can run like that. Adrian is gone! Touchdown, Peyton Hillis! He walks into the end zone. This is the type of game where legends are made. Peyton Hillis took down Aaron Rodgers. Well, you said earlier that the Green Bay fans didn't want We didn't want him to win. You, you oh, it's we. Hold on, it's we now, right? He's French. Oh, always been we. Oh, no, once you're a Green Bay Packer, you're a Green Bay Packer okay. for life. Okay. I'm just going to step out on the limb and say the Cleveland Brown fans, they really got after it. When the Green Bay fans felt like, you know what? My neighbor will vote. I don't need to. Uh-huh. It's, it's Rodgers, Super Bowl MVP versus Peyton Hillis. Yeah, we, we got this. Just because you're on a 5'11 team, like Dion says, doesn't necessarily mean anything. I mean, honestly, I mean, it's kind of hard sometimes going with 9, 10 guys in the box. Yeah. If you do decently well, I mean, I think you should get some support for that. And it also, if you throw the ball 45 times a game, you're going to do something. Coming from a true running back. There you go. How about the other matchup, though, where we had Michael Vick, arguably the most exciting guy in our league, taking down a guy who ran against eight-man boxes all year in Adrian Peterson? Well, you would expect that. Because of Michael Vick's popularity. No, I wouldn't have. Adrian Peterson, dynamic player. Um, Vick had a great year. Well, you're talking about real football, though. We're not talking about real football. We're talking, talking about, about our fans that watch real popularity, football. popularity, but a little bit of excitement. It, it, I mean, if, if Adrian Peterson is on television and I'm coming in the house and my kids are saying, Daddy, Adrian Peterson is on right now. It's third down and 12. I, I, I'm going to walk to the TV. Well, he's about four. I, I would think the most dynamic player in the past 15 years for sure. He said 15 years. You, you know, you got Barry Sanders sitting right there and Marshall Falk. Yeah. And I'm right beside you. You might want to do your math first. <laughs> but we cool. I'm a little upset. Don't Barry say no. said hello to me. Yes, I ain't on. No, Can you say hello? Please, <laughs> so on the overall brackets, you like the final four? Yes. Yes. They got it. The, the final four, the fans got it right. Yes. Every bracket, there's always a surprise. And this man, we, we all know he was a surprise. He had an outstanding right. game. Right. He was Out Cinderella. Yes. He had a bigger shoe, but he was Cinderella. Cinderella. Okay, Cinderella. Cinderella. That's what he was. Susanna Collins, as surprised as I am to be sitting here <laughs> with the cover of Madden NFL 12, Peyton Hillis, how are the fans feeling? How surprised were you that Aaron Rodgers was upset by Peyton Hillis, a number 10 seed? Uh, I was pretty shocked, you know, coming off a, a Super Bowl win, that, that was a huge upset. But uh, no doubt Peyton Hillis had a great season. He was on my fantasy team, and uh, he carried me to the top. So can't say enough about that guy. Absolutely. I'm with you, man. Peyton Hillis, way to go, buddy. And then all of a sudden, there were two. Keep pushing. Hey, keep fighting. Vic takes the snap. He guns it to the back of the end zone. Touchdown! And that is a huge. was a comeback like I have never seen. First, first I, I, I want to ask this man a question. I mean, when it came down to you and Mike Vick, I mean, what did you really say to yourself, honestly? I've lost. I've lost. <laughs> did any of your homeboys or your, your parents or anybody say, dude, we got a shot here, man? No. <laughs> Listen, after he beat Aaron Rodgers, you should have known something was up. Super Bowl MVP. I mean, you should have known something. You should have known he had it. Now, why? Just, now why, just because you win the Super Bowl MVP, should y'all make it be on the Madden cover? You know what? That's a very good question. And do we have someone in our audience, Susanna, that can answer questions just like that? All right. Anthony, talk to us here. So I'm a member of the audience now, so I can have an opinion, right? Yes, you can. I can have an opinion? <laughs> All right, so here, here's the thing. 
there's a changing of the guard happening in the NFL, right? Brett Favre's retired, Tom Brady's getting older, Peyton's getting older. There were two running backs last year that had over 1,100 yards rushing, double-digit touchdowns, over 60 receptions, and over 450 yards receiving, two of them. He's one, and the other one is another young guy that not many people know, Arian Foster. Look at the city of Cleveland. This is a sports city scorn, right? They couldn't control uh, Jordan over Elo. But they could control Peyton Hillis making the cover of Madden NFL 12 and 13 million votes, and they did it. That's it. You heard it from the man. Well said. I like it. Very good answer, young man. Very well, well played, young man. Well played. Up next on Madden NFL 12 Road to the Cover, we're already predicting who will be the face of next year's cover. I'm going to say Clay Matthews because I think his flowing locks would look outstanding on the cover. So wow. there you go. <laughs> okay.